A lot of people ask me what it's like to travel so cheap, travel on such a tight budget. You know, are the place is clean. What do they look like? Are they safe? And I am just about to show you probably one of the cheapest places you'll find in Phuket, which is one of the main sort of holiday destinations of Thailand. It's the most visited island. So this room that I'm about to show you, it's not perfect, but it's got everything that I need out of it. It's $5 a night. And I basically wanted a private room, so I've got my own my own room here. We've got a double bed, and we've got a single bed here as well, which is a little bonus. I just basically keep my bags on it. I'm just packing. I'm making my way to Bangkok today on the sleeper train, so I'm going to be videoing that. I'm going to show you what it's like to travel the cheapest way through Thailand. So that would be local buses and the train. So yeah. Keep an eye out on the channel for that. Subscribe if you haven't already. Anyway, the main thing I want out of a, a private room when I, when, I, when I try and find a private room is that it's secure, you know, so it needs a lock. You need to make sure that you test your locks and stuff. When I first came into this room, all of the windows, let me, let me show you here, like, all of the windows were um, unlocked, all, like, each, each one of them, as soon as this one's unlocked, this doesn't move because it's quite an old window, but both these windows were unlocked. I just found it super weird because you can definitely get to, I could probably get to this window from those steps and I can definitely get through this window here from the balcony. I'll show you the balcony, I'll show you the rest of the place. Um, yeah, it even comes with aircon. Check this out. So this is actually the quietest that it's been running. Um, it was super, super loud. It's basically, someone's put an engine in it or something. I almost didn't have it on for you know, the first 24 hours. It got super hot, so I turned it on. And it was just like, bah, 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 bah. The longer, the more days I leave it on, the quieter it's got. So I seem to have sort of partially fixed it. But yeah, I'm gonna turn that off because it's, it's really loud. Yes, it's five dollars. Um, the hygiene of this place is, I'd say it's so-so. You know, the, the bed sheets and everything, they were cleaned, but you know, you can see the pillows, you know, this particular pillow. You know, I'm not complaining. I'm just showing you what it's like. You can see like, this is just a bunch of stranger sweat, basically. Not the nicest thing, especially because I know how hot I've been in here and I've been sweating, so it's been uh, it's a memory foam mattress. It has sort of bowed a little bit, and so you sort of, your back gets a little bit... So when I first came to check in, I'll show you the rest of the apartment. So it's sort of, it's, it's called the Guest House Apartment Hotel. So it's got, it's basically an old apartment. And uh, I'll just show you the, the views. So this is sort of the neighborhood here. And yeah, so it's an older apartment that's just basically been sectioned off. Each room, private room. They've got one, two, three, four, five. Five rooms and I'll show you the shower. So unfortunately, it is a cold shower. It's a very cold shower. It'll keep going for a while and then it'll cut out and sort of the water will stop. I've just got my feet absolutely soaked there. Well done. Western toilet. Bum gun isn't the most powerful, to be honest with you. That's quite an important thing for me. If you, you know this, if you watch the channel a lot, it's, um, it's okay. It kind of pumps, it gets stronger, and then it goes weak again. So you kind of on the toilet for a minute or like 30 seconds, just giving it a good shh. Get a mirror and a sink, get some free soaps. So this is a shared bathroom here. Showing everyone else's muck as well, but oh well. Even comes with a balcony. So check this out. This is where everyone comes out and has their cigarettes and their beers. And uh, yeah, it's fairly decent to be honest with you. For $5, I mean, for a private room as well. Like it's my own space. Unfortunately, there is a lot of building work going on in Phuket at the minute. 
you know, because there's not so many tourists. I think a lot of business owners are like, let's let's get the renovations going. But yeah, you got you got a microwave, you've got an oven, you've got a kettle, which is all really good for a budget traveller. So I haven't I've just been basically buying things that I can cook with that. When I tried checking in, I turned up at 10 o'clock and it said that the office opens at 10. So I waited for a little bit. I was like, what's going on? I read a little sign that said, oh, office is shut on Sundays and it was a Sunday. So I was like, oh no. I called the, the owner up and he was just this Italian guy and he was like, uh, hello? And I was like, hello, I'd like to check in please. And he was like, okay. And I was like, so can I check in? <laughs> My name's Craig. <laughs> he was like, uh, we're not open on a Sunday, um, but I can send someone over to you. As if he was doing me a favor, like I can send you the staff into the reception. So I was like, okay. Ended up waiting an hour and a half. And during that wait, there was just this, uh, this lady boy that basically walked in, went to go up the stairs and she was like, oh, how are you? And I was like, yeah, I'm okay. And she was like, what you doing? And I was just like, uh, yeah, I'm just waiting. Uh, yeah, no problem. And she was like, I thought maybe she was maybe staff. And she was like, oh, you waiting for me? And I was like, um, I, I didn't know how to respond. I was just a bit like, uh, uh, uh. and uh, she just laughed at me and went to walk up the stairs. And she was like, only joking. And then I was like, oh, okay, sweet, sweet. And then she turned around and she was like, not really, and then just sort of rubbed herself. And I, that was my introduction to this hotel. And obviously, you, like, knowing what Phuket is like, Phuket is famous for, you know, a certain thing that I didn't know it was famous for. Um, so, yeah, I, I believe that there could have been some pretty dirty stuff going on in this room. This is a budget room, this is the budget private room. Two beds. Some people only come here for a certain thing. And I was kind of wondering, oh, which bed do I want? You know, because if you're gonna bring a lady back to the hotel room, or maybe three, knowing this place, you know, which which bed would you use? You'd probably use this one, wouldn't you? Because, you you know, you'd have all the fun with more than one on here. And then you'd probably just sleep alone here. Or maybe not. I, basically, I'm asking which, which bed would you have slept on when you got here? Which bed would you have guessed would be the most hygienic? So would you go for the double bed where probably more action would happen? Or would you go for the single bed? Now, the single bed seems like an easy choice. However, if you're going to be doing any sort of, you know, really nasty stuff with someone else, you're not going to want to, you know, go to sleep on a single bed after doing that. So you'd rather probably want to sleep here. So I was thinking, you know, all of the nasty stuff that people do, if they have ever done it here, they'd probably do it on that bed and then sleep on this bed with their, with the new girlfriend or whatever. So yeah, I went for the double bed. I just, uh, just wondering what you guys would have chosen. Would you have chosen the single bed or the double bed and why? And this only really, <laughs> applies to the people that know what I'm going on about. It's as sort of cheap as it comes from a private room. This room is actually a really, really good budget room because it's got, it's got a fridge as well and that saves you so much money when it comes to food. It's got a fridge, it's got air conditioning, it's got a double bed, it's even got a spare bed, it's got a safe, it's got a lock on the door, it's got a balcony, it's got two windows, I keep this one shut for privacy from the balcony, but yeah, it's, um, the, the curtains aren't amazing. But another thing is, you know, these people haven't really had any customers for two years, so there's not much money that can get put into these properties until people like me come and spend some money. So yeah, I'm happy with it. It's provided me with security. Um, it's cooled me down. I've been able to sleep here and uh, I haven't been robbed. So for, yeah, for $5, in Phuket for a private room can't go wrong this is what it looks like this is what budget travel looks like okay this is a proper little budget segment a little budget travel tip segment for you so you got to wash your clothes when you're traveling you know solo traveling around you're not going to be able to carry a washing machine with you now quite often I will hand wash my clothes in the sink and drive up in my hotel room. However, I've been a bit lazy the past few days. I'm just gonna show you the next cheapest way to do it. Just for reference, I paid 
110 baht for two kilograms of clothing, which basically was three of my big shirts. It was very expensive. It was 110 baht just for that. Now, when I hand wash, I pay 11 baht for a bag of soap. And I just, that's, that's it. This will last me sort of probably many washes. So it's, you know, it's a matter of pence to wash all my clothes and then dry them up in the, in the hotel room. However, I'm going to Bangkok tomorrow. Haven't got time to do all the washing and sorting all that out. So I'm going to show you how to use one of these uh, outside washing machines that you find sort of everywhere in Thailand. So I've already put my clothes in there. So obviously you don't want to see me uh, smelly cacks. So you put the soap in here. Now I, am, I haven't used one of these in two years of traveling. Um, so I'm sort of guessing, let's say that much. So you've got but 20 baht and they always only accept, pretty much they only always accept 10 baht coins. So make sure you've got 10 baht coins on you. Now I don't know how to exactly, I don't know if that's just started working automatically. Start. I don't mean wash wash I think it's working guys that's kind of nuts so this one this is not locked at all I don't want to lift it because it might stop the machine but my clothes are not secure in any way I'm not used to that I think the ones that I used before in Thailand they locked themselves they were sort of bigger machines, but I guess the bigger machines are more expensive. So they're having a good wash in there. That's 20 baht. So that's 50 cents or 50, sorry, 50, 50 pence. So maybe 60 cents, something like that. And that's how you save your money um, doing your own washing in Thailand. Got another budget travel tip for you guys. So getting water in Southeast Asia whilst you're traveling around can be, it can be quite expensive. So quite often, you end up having to buy these 1.5 litre bottles. Shh. You end up buying these 1.5 litre bottles. Once they're finished, a lot of people end up just throwing these away. Quite often you can go through one or two of these a day easy. And so there's so much plastic that, you know, that really in Southeast Asia, it will typically end up in the rivers and then in the seas, which is something that's not cool. And it can be super expensive. So, you know, you can, you can pay sort of like 50 pence every time you get a water bottle and you know that really adds up if you're making sure you hydrate yourself properly that really adds up but here in thailand they probably have them in other countries too but here in thailand they have osmosis water machines these machines take water out of the atmosphere oh super super simple they just take uh one bar coins or well, typically they do anyway ah something's not working Come on, there we go. So if the coin doesn't work, give it a little rub and see if it works. There you go, there you go. Little rub, nice little rub. Now you've got to line it up because it shoots out quite dramatically. There we go. So sort of one 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 bar is used up, and then uh oh, uh oh, that's not you. Typically, it doesn't fill up the whole bottle. I don't know what's happened there. That's a lot of water wasted. Okay, this machine definitely has malfunctioned. That never happens. That just oh, okay. What I did was I put three bar in, and it used the whole three bar. Usually, that doesn't happen. Usually, it just uses one bar's worth and then stops. Um, that's really annoying, I just wasted a whole bunch of water. So yeah, this is typically, uh, this would be one baht and usually it would have stopped. That would have cost me one baht for each bottle. So I put in three baht there. One of these water bottles, uh, the cheapest ones are like 13 to 15 baht. So it's exponentially cheaper and much much better for the environment uh, to use these machines so make sure that you just keep you know one or two of these bottles in your bag just 
crunch them up if you have to crunch them right up put the lid on these are one of the best travel bottles that you can have loads of people spend loads of money on you know expensive travel bottles but actually these scrunch up to nothing super reusable and uh, they're massive 1.5 liters as well they're huge and they scrunch up to tiny 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 so these are the best things you can get don't waste your money on expensive bottles that keep your water cold they're too small they take up too much space and uh yeah that's enough that's that's enough uh, reason i think anyway i hope you enjoyed that